What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. So if you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin and I do all kinds of man shit around here on the channel. So if you like my content, go ahead and hit subscribe. But today, uh, this is uh, kind of piggybacking on my uh, tr uh, troubleshooting the headlight uh, video that I did last week. Um, I had got asked, a, uh, actually I've been asked a couple times um, how to hook up your dryer and like what is going on with this plug and mine has four wires but the dryer has three terminals, what do I do? Um, so what we're going to do is start off with um, some basics when it comes to residential wiring. So I think that this is better uh, learned if you have the basic understanding of what's going on here. So. Um, the number one thing when you're plugging something into an outlet like a regular extension cord or a lamp or a DVD player or a TV, you're operating on 120 volts. So when you're when you're looking at your uh, your basic circuit, uh, we call it or it's 120 volts. A lot of people will say 110. It's kind of uh, it's kind of just different on who you speak to, but it's technically 120 volts AC or alternating current. We're not gonna get into all that crazy stuff. So basically what you're looking at is three main wires. Over here you have your hot, which is a black wire, um, also known as your power wire where all the electricity is coming in from. That's where your 120 volts will be. Then you have your white power wire, or your white common wire. This is also known as your return. Um, this is not a ground. Um, even though back at the panel it is connected to your ground, that's not something we're gonna get into. That's, that's going into advanced electrical and it's not, not a big deal. Then you have your bare wire, which is your actual ground. So ultimately at the panel, they meet each other, but not a big deal. So this is a 120 volt circuit. So when we're talking about dryer plugs, we're talking about a 240 volt circuit, or what some people will call a 220 outlet. So basically this is adding an extra wire in here, and this is why some people get confused on four wire setup. So you have a hot wire and another hot wire. One is red, one is black. So the key is here that each of these wires has 120 volts, 120 volts, 120 volts makes 240, if you add them together, right? And then you have your white wire that's the same. And then when you go over to the 220 or the 240 circuit, you'll get a green or a bare wire as your ground. So um, I think previously to the National Electric Code in 2014, you didn't have a green wire here. So anything manufactured before then or under the old code only had three wires. It had the power, power, and the, and the common, or the white. So that's why a lot of people will uh, battle back and forth about these dryer plugs and why you have to go get a different dryer plug because your outlet doesn't match and what are you actually looking for. So how I explain that right there is that you can have a four prong outlet or a four prong cord or a three prong cord. So your three prong cord here, uh, you can have your three blade here, which would be a power, power and neutral or your common. And then this would be power, power, neutral ground. So those two different cords still do the exact same thing. The only thing that's, that it is adding is your green wire here on the end. So a lot of people get wrapped around the axle about this, but this is the only wire that they're adding in here. One, like I said, um, after a certain time frame when they figured out that it's safer to do an extra ground, they added this guy in here. So if you're messing with a three plug cord, you're only worried about these three wires in essence. This would give you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. Red, which was 120 volts, black, which is 120 volts, and then your common. If you have a four prong, then you add your ground in there. If you don't have a four prong, it looks like this. It's too easy. So <clears throat> whether you're messing with a four prong outlet or you're messing with a three prong, concept is still the same. Now on your actual coating here on the outside of the wire, it will tell you which one is neutral. It usually is the middle one. So you're gonna have two bigger wires and then the middle wire is gonna be your neutral. So when you're looking at this, it literally goes on the dryer exactly how you have it oriented here in your hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull you in close on the dryer. I'm gonna show you the two different ways that it can be hooked up. I'm gonna take the clamp off. I already taken the clamp off, but I'm gonna show you exactly how you would hook up a three prong and then how you'd hook up a four prong on the exact same dryer, just if you had a different plug on the wall. 
Then we're gonna go over to the wall plug and I'm gonna teach you exactly what to look for when you take the cover off. You do not have to touch anything, you do not have to screw with anything, but you wanna make sure that you're setting this up the same way that your house is set up. So it's real easy, wire tracing, you just have to look at it, make sure that it's the same when it comes to, you know, where this plugs into, you wanna make sure that these are hooked up correctly with where you're plugging into. Because I have ran across 220 outlets or 240 outlets, whatever you wanna call it, I have ran across them that they have been uh, wired the wrong way. So then in essence, basically that will screw up exactly, you know, how you go about the actual, um, you know, the actual wiring. And of course I'm getting a phone call right now. So okay, so now that we've zoomed in super close on our dryer here, this is clearly a uh, three prong setup dryer. Um, there might be, depending on what dryer you're looking at, um, you can look at, there might be a fourth a terminal over here for your ground, but this is a three prong dryer. So all you need to do is, you need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, your store, Ace, whatever, and go get your power cord that matches the, matches the terminal that goes into the wall. That's the one thing you need to match. Once you've got the match, then you need to figure out how to hook it up here. So one thing that you will that you will look at is when you're hooking it up to your dryer. These are kind of um, these are kind of dummy proof, but this is exactly how the cord lays. Um, I hope that this part is in frame here. But you have your power neutral power, and then as it goes into the dryer, you have your power neutral power. One of these blades is a different color, so your common should be a regular silver color, while um, your 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 uh, your power has a brass look to it or a different color. So when you hook this up, you have your power neutral power. Um, if you hooked up a different plug, if I were to if I were to take these off, let's just go ahead and drop these out of the way, and I'll show you exactly what I mean when I hook up a different plug. So let's say that you get an old dryer, and your old dryer is a three plug just like mine is here. It's an older dryer. I don't know what the year is on this bad boy. It's probably not readily available right now. So I put my, I take my three prong out, okay? Now let's say that my house was a four prong. So what I do here is hopefully that me hitting the tripod doesn't make a whole bunch of noise, but um, here is the external ground here. So if you have a three, pr three prong, there's more than likely a ground on the outside. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put your wires back in right where you were, okay? And you're gonna hook it up just like so. So now I have my power, neutral power, and then I'm gonna hook up my ground here on the external ground connector. Okay, so I just literally, if you had a, uh, if you have, I'm trying to do everything with, with stuff in my hands, but if you have a ground piece or you have a four prong, then you just need to hook up your, hook up your ground over here to the ground. Obviously, this would go through the hole and hook up here to the ground. So you have your power, neutral power. Remember, 120 volts, 120 volts, and then your, your common wire, and then your ground over here. That's how you would hook up a four prong you know, a, or a four prong plug to a three prong dryer. Now, if you had a four prong dryer, which is often common, you have, let's say you have your ground over here and you have your, your uh, you know, your three prong, there's actually four terminals on your, on your dryer. And you have an older house and you're trying to put a brand new, brand new dryer in. Well, guess what? You only use the three wires, the three wires that you have. Okay, so you're gonna put these three wires on the terminals and that ground you're gonna leave alone. Now you can if you really wanted to, if you wanted to get picky with it, yes, you could uh, yes, you could jump the common to the ground, but that's that's not necessarily a common practice. You don't want to do that. Um, you could if you wanted to, uh, but that technically violates code, so don't be doing all that trash. Um, literally just forget the ground because your plug doesn't have it. So you don't want to um, connect the ground and the, and the common up by the dryer. Don't try to get smarter than the actual uh, project here. 
So that's literally how you hook it up at the dryer. If there's a fourth plug, you'd literally leave it empty because you don't have that ground wire. It's too easy. I hope that was an easy explanation. Uh, if you have a four prong, remember, just hook it up however it's supposed to. Usually that silver is going to be a common and your two brass are gonna be your powers. It's just as easy as that. And usually there's a ground somewhere. Even on this old dryer, a ground is right here. That's where I would hook in my fourth wire. So too easy, that's how it goes. Now let's roll over to the outlet. I'm gonna show you a, an example of an outlet and sometimes how it could be wired backwards. All right, bear with me as I try to make this uh, the best video I can here. So we're up underneath the bench now. Most of your dryer vent or dryer plugs look like this. So this is a standard three plug. Um, I actually have this connected to the heater in my shop. So what you do is you take a flathead, should be a standard flathead, and you literally just run the screw out that is in the center. Okay, once you've run the screw out, the cover comes straight off. So here's a quick lesson for you. Your three blade, when it looks like this, okay, you can trace your wires. You have your, your common in the center, and you have your hot and your hot. So if it's wired anything other than what this is right here, then it's wired incorrectly. If you want to see exactly how the blade goes on here, you see the, try not to cover up the light, apologize. So you have it wired up so that this is hot, this is hot, and this is common up here at the top. So if you want to just turn this directly around, and you put it into the blades outside the cover, you can look at exactly how it's set up. So you know you have your black and your red and your white up here at the top. Now, if you had a four prong, then you'd have your bare, your common, or sorry, your ground or your bare or your green would go into another fourth prong on this outlet. But I don't have any four prong outlets, I only have three. So my ground is grounded to the box. So that's literally how it's set up. That is why I taught you that black is power, red is power, and white is common. So when you open this up, if it's wired any other way, then you either need to switch it here or you need to switch this on the dryer. I recommend you switch it here, shut the circuit off, and wire your house the correct way. If you don't know a lot about it and you don't feel confident after this video, hire an electrician to come out here and switch the wires because it's not worth burning your house down um, all because you know you were stubborn and you didn't want to um, mess with these wires or have somebody come mess with them. Um, it's definitely crucial that this is wired the correct way and nobody's gone in here and done some stupid stuff. After you verify that this is hooked up right, literally slide your cover back on. I don't know how this could be any easier. All right guys, so I hope you liked that, that short video on how to set up a dryer plug. Um, I hope this helps people in the future. Um, if you found my channel because you were looking at dryer plugs, um, I've got a bunch of other man shit on the channel. So if you wanna go check it out, uh, I encourage you to uh, click subscribe, um, check out my uploads uh, on it. I'm uploading Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. I'm always doing something fun and exciting, uh, trying to teach a little bit along the way. So if I can help you out, if you have any questions, comment below. I will try to, uh, usually busy because I do have a full-time job, um, but I try to respond as, as quick as humanly possible. And uh, it's actually kind of like texting back and forth. So if you got any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next video.